any of the portrayals of God in the Old Testament scriptures is anything but loving. It's not just he's a God of wrath, he's a God of genocide. And what I mean by genocide is where like a flood, uh, you mean? No, I don't. Make sure you choose an example that Allah doesn't have a part in also. I am listening to everything you're saying. You've got your back to me, literally. So let's not talk about rudeness. Well, they can move their camera, surely. You don't need to literally go like this. Like, they're just getting involved. You right, Paul? What's that? Would you like to discuss Israel at any point? There's a camera there, and there's a camera here as well. Hi, Paul's mum. No, they're here, the live stream. <laughs> Hi, Paul's mum. Yeah, it's not my topic of, uh, of authority, as it were, but I was just discussing how Allah and Yahweh have both given this land to the children of Israel. Allah, uh, in Surah 17. No, no, I said Allah and Yahweh. Allah has given it in the Allah Quran. And two gods, Allah and Yahweh. Allah is, right, my, so you want to obfuscate. Yahweh is the one true God. He said, this is my name for the generations, forever. No, it's just, it's just, people in the Middle East, Christians in the Middle East. No, I understand Jews, this argument. What's they got to do with Israel? I understand so that, but they say, don't call when Jesus when Isa. Say, when you say Allah and Yahweh, that makes sense. there's two gods. Well, I do believe that the God of the Quran is a false representation of Yahweh. He says, I am he. No, no, the, word, the word itself is... Oh, I understand what you mean, but I, oh, no, okay, I, I, I correct me, myself, yeah. Christians worship and praise Allah. Sure. In the hundreds of millions around the world. Lovely. So you say Allah and Yahweh, Can I now probably, counteract your point? You're talking about Israel. I'm going to quantify. Wait, wait, wait. How many gods do you believe well, in? Not necessarily, but I'm quantifying by saying the Islamic Allah, the Quranic Allah, the Allah who said, smite them by the neck and crucify them and. Uh, you know, uh, this is how the waiting so you, period. You the, the Yahweh who, because Yahweh who, said so. Uh, yeah. Like, Yahweh who targets women, children, and babies for killing in the flood in, in one Samuel fifteen. I can't believe you've degenerated to shamsiness. Oh my gosh! Would you like to discuss <laughs> it seriously? What, what, what does shamsiness mean? He always screams about no, the no, killing the babies alive. No, no, no I'm, I'm just saying. If you're yeah, going I'm going to say, defend my position. Me, if you're going to say uh, uh, the Quranic Sorry about Allah, this. Uh, does X and Y, then I'll simply respond by saying your Yahweh actually explicitly commands that the Israelites target women, children and yes. babies. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And, and, and you think that's a fault? You, think that's you a don't know God? what I think because you're not letting me respond, Paul. So would you like me to give you a defence of that? I'm wondering where you get your moral values oh, Hang on, you're asking me another question. I get my moral... Well, right now, I'm not going to answer that question. I'm going to answer your original question. What I'm going to answer... Your original point is that Yahweh... Stop obfuscating and let me answer you, Paul. Okay, so Paul's original point was... Uh, something about Allah being uh, the one true God and going with linguistics when we know that I'm in the Quranic Allah. Excuse me. Babies in 1 Samuel 3.15 exactly. is where Paul is at the moment. And I'm trying to. I'd love to. So the, no, You've already spoken about it. Now I'm going to respond. So you're... So, lovely. Yes. Can I answer you, please? No, 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 no. You've asked your question. I'm now responding. I am responding. I haven't responded yet. I've been clarifying what we're talking about because you said, what are we talking about? If you just pause. Excellent, Paul. I would love to. I've said that three times now. Okay. So my God uh, gives the command uh, within the book of Samuel for one tribe of people to be destroyed. Paul's not actually interested. Now he's looking over there as if he's, he's far too intellectual to uh, listen to my reputation of his rude. point. I'm not being rude. You're being rude. I'm speaking to you directly and you're glad. My like friend, a friend of mine. I think friend you were looking past him. I don't know who he is. I do. Excellent. So you were looking past him. Either way, so okay, first no, Samuel. Focus, try and focus I on am, the subject. I not, am. Not I am. At. I am. But it's a little bit, you know, if you were talking to me and I'm just off here. Anyway, so first Samuel. God has decreed and God is the uh, author of life. God, every soul belongs ultimately to God. He has full authority to uh, designate, as in Sodom and Gomorrah, he can say, I want this place to be no more, these people to be out of memory and it will happen. So what? Um, so that's that, basically. No, he does that. He's got another camera over there. He's got another camera. No, he's got another camera over there. Two. Uh, but Paul just interjected. So I'm being polite by uh, like humouring his... No, I haven't finished. Okay, when will you, will you be finishing soon? Or when I've given my view on it. Okay, well, Excellent. I will do. I thank you so much. Because it's quite important topics that we're discussing. 
So also, I mean, uh, the Allah of the Quran says that he revealed um, the first five books and the Psalms and the Injil. So Samuel, no, we're not actually. He, he not great, great, great. So anyway, so nice the point. Try. No, no, I was just, I was just considering that. Nice try. Well, it doesn't matter because Allah, Allah says it's prescribed for you to fight, and you will fight whether you want to or not, and you will yeah. smite the unbeliever. Justice, for justice. What justice? For justice. not believing. Oh, is it my turn to speak? Uh, no, actually, no, it's not. Okay. So Allah not decides whom He guides and who He misses. Uh, excellent. Listen no, to what I'm saying, though. I'm. But that's up to me. I don't have to speak in any prescribed fashion. I don't have to speak in any prescribed fashion. Okay, so I'm saying it's up to God. I'm saying the destruction of the women actually was not fully carried, or well, the king in this case wasn't fully carried out. So the, the order wasn't completely uh, given. With the Midianites, I believe it was, the women, the unmarried women I'm were said, Amicalites. I'll correct you in a minute when you finish. You, you don't need to correct me. I'm I do, you're making a mistake. <laughs> oh, you're such I did say that secondarily and then you still said I made I did anyone just read oh JC will put it up on the screen me literally saying it either way yeah, it's God's finished, decision well let me summarize oh summarize it, okay. yes so now it is summary. yes Lovely. it is God's decision whom he uh, wipes out and doesn't wipe out if he wants to use human agency to achieve those aims that's absolutely fine all babies, donkeys, and everybody was already wiped out in the flood other than Noah and his menagerie. So you don't believe it's uh, unfair for God to uh, order the tell destruction. Me what I do and don't believe. Uh, You're a Muslim, are you not? Do you believe Allah was unjust in causing the world to flood? That's my question to you, yes. Allah said it was. Okay. Well, I'll leave you two to have a debate. No, 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 I'm waiting for your answer, but your friend is interjecting. I think it's rather rude for you to go off and debate with someone else. Well, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. So anyway, but, yeah. No, but you were debating him. I and, tried and, to uh, refute so his point quickly. Well, I do apologise, anyway, but okay. I think it's... So, yeah. coming back to my point. Yes. Let's look at some facts. In 1 Samuel 15, the God of your, um, your religion, who you believe is a God of love, Yes. Who loves who loves everyone unconditionally. This no, he God doesn't love everyone unconditionally. Eyes, Sorry. Do you want to explain what you mean? Yes, I do. There's there's such a thing as his wrath. Yeah. So you believe that, uh, that God is love? I've heard uh, Christians say this many, many times. The problem is that many of the portrayals of God in the Old Testament scriptures is anything but loving. It's not just he's a God of wrath, he's a God of genocide. And what I mean by genocide is where... This is how she lies. Like a flood, uh, you mean? No, I don't. Make sure you choose an example that Allah doesn't have a part in also. Oh, can can, can the cameraman stop being like a, an interjector? This is my style of debate. Paul knows me. It's my, yeah, I'm listening to him. You don't know me. <laughs> I'm not constantly interrupting, but don't misportray my religion now. then. Is that correct? Well, if you carry on speaking, I'm sh no, I'll shush. Will you? Thank you. Can you just let me speak freely and not interrupt? How long do you want, Paul? I don't know. Two yet. minutes, two minutes? No, I think five minutes, maybe ten minutes. Wow. Yeah. You wow. can fit in a lot well, of uh, misconstruing of my religion maybe in that time. Minutes. Go on then. So, uh, because I asked you how long you get, and you said, you said oh, I'm... Um, so I made my minutes. point, but it wasn't ten minutes. So the point is this, the God of Christianity, your, your God, Jesus, you, who you think is God, even though he denied he was God, but worse than the subject, um, you believe that he is a God of love. And that, is, and that makes a big difference, you think, to the God of Islam, even though it says in a number of places in the Quran, many places, that God is loving and God is love. But we'll let that to one side. In your Old Testament, God is not just portrayed as a God of wrath, but a God of genocide. For example, in the first chapter of Samuel, um, 1 Samuel 15, I should say, verses 1 to 4, uh, the prophet Samuel instructs King Saul, this is the details that matter here too, because he's been told by God to go to the Amalekites, that's their name, the Amalekites, uh, and to specifically exterminate them. But it's not just the men, oh no, it's actually the women too. But not just the women who are to be specifically targeted to kill it. Excuse me. It is children. It says children. Look it up, 1 Samuel 15. Look it up in your Bible. 315, it's not 15, it's 315. I'm correcting your reference. 1 Samuel 15. Okay. He's incorrect. The babies are targeted for extermination. You heard the Nazis, what the Nazis did to the Jews? But this is the Old Testament story, exactly the same. The systematic extermination of whole people. And there are many examples in her 
scriptures where she says our God is a loving God and she criticizes Islam. I don't say and, and yet her I don't Bible say my God is a loving God in the scripture, Paul. On extermination, nothing like that in the Quran. Let me finish it. You're yeah, proselytizing. The story or? is worse than that. The story is worse. Let me explain why. Okay. Because King Saul, the king of Israel, the first king, failed in his duty to obey God, and God reprimands him for his failure to accept the Lord God. What was he criticized for? For not obeying the commandment to exterminate every baby, every child, every woman. It gets worse. I'm sorry, there's layers upon layers of Well, are you sermonizing or would you like a response? Sorry, I hadn't finished yet. I understand. I am. Now, let me, let me give the, now, what is the crime that these people have committed? Let's look at Shall their Shall I just sin. do it to camera? Let's look at their wickedness. <laughs> Because maybe, as she's implied, they deserved it. The babies deserved it. If God sorted. says so, it is so. Deserved it. Because the passage says what their crime was. Let me tell you what, and look it up. I really urge you to get a copy of the Bible. And JC. Look at 1 Samuel 15. And read JC. It in context for he's yourself. just sermonizing. So what is the he's Bible not waiting say? for a response. Bible, he's sermonizing to these cameras. You're being very rude I'm now. speaking you're, to JC. You're supposed to be paying attention. I am listening to everything no, you're saying. You're talking to your friend. You've got your back to me, literally. So oh, let's not talk about camera. rudeness. About well, they can move their camera, surely. You don't no, need no. to literally go like this, do you, Paul? Because that is rude by anybody's standards. Anyway, anyway so if you just pull over here ever so slightly, I'll answer all of this stuff he's talking about. What he's saying... I know, I've heard this polemic before. Be respectful, he just put his back to me. I didn't put my back to you. You absolutely did. I am listening to everything you're saying. You've got your back to me, literally. Take offence so easily. I haven't taken offence. I'm saying that someone who's sermonising about... Not at your age, Paul. You don't want to be throwing that one at me, darling. Anyway, you can... Carry on sermonising to the cameras. That's what you're doing. You're not here to have a conversation with me. You're not even pointing towards me. No! He's just trying to take pot shots at Yahweh. No, don't be ridiculous. No, no, no. Not Paul. What is the crime, the sin... Oh, here we go. Is this a rhetoric? No, it's a rhetorical question. <laughs> because he's here sermonising. Oh, this is the guy who interrupted the other week, by the way. This is the guy who interrupted. Paul, what is your summary of your point? Well, you can. They're still picking you up. You've got a mic on. So, for the empty time, what is the crime? You are literally asleep. You are This is the guy who said all Christians are BSs. Please. Her God. God. Love, but I thought he said that all these Arabs were saying Allah. God, even though the Quran says that he's a God of love a number of times. What is this loving God command? Why does he order these people to be exterminated? According to the Bible itself. Because it says, if you look at 1 Samuel 15, their ancestors 300 years earlier fought against the Israelites when they were coming out of Egypt in the exodus of Egypt. So their distant ancestors, three centuries before, committed certain crimes and not bother whether or not they're true or not. So therefore... Oh, not whether they're true or not. God said so. The women, the children, the babies, all of them, everyone must be slaughtered. Now, I had to ask you... You're going to be playing the music at this point. <laughs> Is this a God of justice? Is this a God of mercy? Is this a God of... So long as it's not done... Is it a speech of hours? Is it a speech of minutes? Well, I'm trying to finish. Come on, man. I got your point, Paul. No, I'm talking to a wider audience. I know. Sorry if that... Almost solely. It doesn't upset me whatsoever. You couldn't upset me, Paul. Anyway, Queen Paul is just on his pedestal at the moment. They in are the, born the them. Uh, they uh, are born uh, them. Uh, so it's okay uh, uh, to kill women and children no, no, no. as long as they are part no, no, no. of the enemy tribe. Well, like the polytheists. They, they are of them. They are of them. Paul's still trying to wrap up his three hour statement. Is the atheist in the background just joining in? Oh, is it my turn yet? No? In 
the Quran, there are explicit instructions not to kill non combatants. You must not kill anyone. Unless they're unbelievers. Do not be the aggressor. It says in the Quran. Do not kill. Fight those who believe not in Allah. How's that an aggressor? They've got, got a bunny ears. Of women, children, and babies. And there are many other occasions when genocide. This is not a debate, though, Paul. This is a speech. Like you did. No, no way. Not in yeah? So, anyway, so. I can't hear myself think. I can't hear you. So, we're going to have to do it some other time. I knew it. He's literally speech and run, speech and run. You can catch it on the video, Paul. You're disingenuous. And you know it. Anyway, so. Hi, over here and I will be posting my questions to Paul. Okay, so these are the answers that you're all looking for. Yeah. Right, so First Samuel is a common Islamic polemic because it seems to be, I mean, already we've got Saul and Samuel. Saul is, um, there's a, all right then, there's a task given. The task is to wipe out an entire tribe of people. That is correct. Um, there is a, specifics given for the Amicalites and their crime is the treatment of the Israelites so that is correct. What I would suggest is that for saying like Paul mentioned allegedly like uh, we don't know if it's true or not is what he said after that little statement we absolutely know it's true if Yahweh of armies Yahweh of the Bible says it is so you better believe it is so because even if it wasn't so theoretically it would become so because the God of truth the God who is truth um, reveals it to be so. If he deems that the Amicalites are now uh, past their sell-by date, that is exactly what will happen. They need to be wiped out. I've had this conversation with Shamsi many times. Sorry, brother. Bro, 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 my microphone. You need to, you've got a microphone voice yourself. So, um, love him. But let me just cover it slightly. If God deems that somebody is worthy of um, destruction, a, a group of people, then that is what should happen. We know that it is a good decision because it is a God decision. If you're out here as a, a former Catholic, Baptist, Muslim, non-Muslim, Muslim, non-Muslim non -Muslim proselytizer of Christianity, probably check your own self before you start questioning the decisions of Yahweh because on Judgment Day, that's not a good look, uh, Paul. So other than that, so where were we? So it's justified just by dint of God, the authority of the universe saying so. However, Allah is all over the place with his justice. His justice is not absolute. His power is not absolute. His uh, knowledge is not absolute. All these things are attested to in both the Quran and the Hadith. But what a surprise, Muslims will not they just will not defend their prophet. They will not defend their book. They cannot defend their book and they cannot defend their prophet. And uh, JC, I think, would like to be filming something else at this point. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get on with my live stream and say God bless you. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.